Neighbors of this Lauder Hill apartment complex are still shaken up. It was definitely terrifying, definitely. It, I'm really saddened right now to see what's going on right now. Ring video captured the sound of multiple gunshots fired over and over again. I heard, you know, a barrage of bullets and I was wondering what was going on. Lauder Hill police say they showed up to the Blueberry Court just after 9 p.m. and found two men shot to death. Detectives then learned from witnesses that someone else involved in the shooting took off in a vehicle before they arrived. And that male patient later showed up at a Tamarack hospital with a gunshot wound. Welcome back, my viewers and subscribers. Guys, I'm sure you have been hearing the rumors going around on social media about the shootout that took place in Fort Lauderdale involving Squash and J-Man. And some of the rumors said that Squash is dead or Squash got shot. Squash did not get shot. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Squash did not go to the shootout at all because he, you know he has to maintain his integrity or what is left of it. So he sent J-Man to do the dirt. So here's what happened, guys. Squash rent a place from a man named Muscleman. And shortly after he rent the place from Muscleman, Somebody came to the place and robbed him. So Squash believed that Muscleman set him up. What he did, he sent J-Man to exact revenge on Muscleman. So when J-Man rolled up on Muscleman and took him out, he did not know that there was somebody else in the background from a crew called Mobster Crew, and his name is Fred. So Fred shoot at him, and he got hit in the neck, but he managed to Corn up Fred. So dead on the scene is Fred and Muscleman. So J Man managed to take himself to the hospital. And as far as I know, J Man is dead. Squash has not been shot because he was nowhere near that scene because he has to keep his hands clean. But the US authorities know that Squash is involved. They know the US authorities are not fool. They know more than we know. But when they hold Squash, they are not going to let him let him go. Because the U.S. authorities, as my granny used to say, not eat them food hot. So Squash is never in the clear. His hand is so dirty. And I don't know which U.S. embassy give J-Man visa. J-Man a criminal. Everybody know that. A hard-working citizen. Can't go to U.S. and get a visa. But Squash criminal, Squash get visa. Under the guise of entertainer, J-Man get visa under the guise of being an entertainer and hardworking Jamaicans, good citizen, clean hands, clean heart, cannot get a visa. And that is how this place go. Money run the cut. If you don't have money, you can't do nothing in a Jamaica. It's an oppressive society to see that them gunmen they go to America and go and tarnish Jamaicans' name. Certain community no want Jamaicans live there in America. Because they know that everywhere Jamaica can go is a problem. So they leave Mobile with the badness and go to Fort Lauderdale up a ladder hill with the same badness. And this is so sad because what happened is the US people them are going to stereotype Jamaicans. When in truth and in fact, the average Jamaican is hard working. The average Jamaicans have them 9 to 5 work hard and take care of them family but the average jamaican don't get the opportunity to go to america because we don't have no big link with no big politicians most of them bad man they have politicians behind them i push them and motivate them i write recommendations for them so they can get visa and go all over the place to go represent music them say but them not do music they do badness they do badness i mean no say squash they go come the fbi the u.s police them them not eat them rice hot as we said before and them are watch him and them have them eye upon him and he will not get away j man dead as far as me hear i may get it from a good source but let us see what happens anyway guys thanks for listening remember like share and subscribe peace out bye